Muse. Intense, unique, innovative, and out of this world. Everyone should have one thing that brings them happiness and makes the whole mind feel at ease. Something to pull them through. For me, it's my favourite band, Muse. Muse launched into success after releasing their first two albums, Showbiz in 1999 and Origin of Symmetry in 2001. Muse emerged as distinctive and progressive in the rock world and have since become renowned for their astounding, apocalyptic live shows, winning many awards identifying them as the best act in the world today. Like many of their fans, I've devoted nine years of my life to listening to Muse. It still amazes me how their music affects me so sincerely and I still wonder where exactly my love of them began. All I know for sure is, now they're in my life, they won't be leaving. I think a main reason behind why I love Muse is because of the way Matt Bellamy was initially classically trained and inspired. I think it completely affects the way that they compose music. They more like take you on this journey that covers everything from being angry to crazy and gentle all at once. Music has been labelled as everything from space rock to art rock to hard rock but they really can't be labelled which is exactly why I love them. I know I'm not the only massive Muse fan out there. For a start, my friend Fran is into pretty different sides of Muse to me, and music in general, but we've still spent three days we consider to be the best of our lives together. That would be the three Muse gigs we've been to. Our whole timeline's just Muse. (laughs) Oh yeah, this was the second gig at Manchester. It was so good. Yeah. When they played Dead Star, I was not expecting that like whatsoever. No, that was, <laughs> it was good so that good. they played that. Yeah. I loved watching these videos. I loved the ladies on Follow Me. Yeah, and they had like pyramids coming down from the ceiling. It's yeah, amazing. it was really cool. Oh, Muse in One Week. Muse in One Week. week. Muse in One Week. I, think, I still think the first one was the best. Everyone got really into it and they were standing and everything. Yeah, I think you could tell like everyone was a proper fan and everyone actually loved them as much as we do. Ah, it's my favourite song, Undisclosed Desires. I think I love this song because it reminds me of my 80s music. Um, Muse use, use so many different genres in their music, which is really good. I love the lyrics. I really relate to them. I first fell in love with Muse when I was about 12 or 13. It was when I first heard um, Supermassive Black Hole. It just sounded so different and crazy and I loved it. Seeing Muse live was one of the best things that ever happened to me. It was the best night ever. Personally, it's the crazier, heavier side of Muse that appeals to me most of all. And I think that's something to do with me growing up with rock music, thanks to my dad, who also happens to be a Muse fan. Uh, Rush, Bastille Day. This is a song I used to listen to as a kid, isn't it? (laughs) We all had our own favourite off of that. What's this you can oh, Muse, of course. Oh, you remember that? Yeah, Japanese rock. 1OK rock are really good. Yeah, used to listen to all sorts, didn't we? Yeah. Sp- spent half your childhood listening to some rock music in the car. Yeah. And I hope, I didn't do it on purpose, but I hope that's the reason that well, we don't have to listen to hip-hop in our house because <laughs> you grew up liking rock music. Yeah. <laughs> Showbiz. Oh, that, that's going back to when they were properly mad, and it's got this venom. It's just the rawness of it, 
and obviously they're young and it's uh, the exuberance of youth that goes with it. What I love about Muse is just sheer intensity that they can create. Every one of them is a virtuoso in what they do and it defies categorization. They can't be categorised. Speaking of Japanese rock, my brother who's another Muse fan is currently living in Japan. Out there they have a tendency to bring out the really unhinged, crazy, obscure songs. My brother Greg also plays guitar and I wanted to see what he makes of the guitar tab I just sent him. <laughs> ah, that's Citizen Erased. It's a totally crazy song. You know, I really love that song. It's uh, got a really heavy opening and bold, powerful, strange chords. It sounds absolutely crazy in the harmonics too. It's somehow bold, audacious, it just works. I saw Muse live in the O2 in London. It was incredible. The atmosphere was alive. They are every bit as ferocious in a live performance as they are on the album. At this point, Muse are half the reason I play guitar. The way their music is so fierce, when you play it, it's really exciting. They just play all the way through from songwriting, performance, live, the way they choose their effects for their instruments. No, nobody can pull that off, and yet they do. Just three of them, and they sound as big as an orchestra. Just incredible. Originally from Timoth, Muse performed in live music venues all over the Southwest in their early days, including the Cavern in Exeter as early as 1994, as well as the Cooperage in Plymouth, and even on Plymouth Hoe in 1997. Now I'm going to be receiving my degree from Plymouth University, where Muse collected their honorary degree in 2008. I'm Dominic Howard for the award of honorary Doctor of Arts degrees. Of the Muse are even benefactors for the course that I'm on, and I think in some way they've inspired every project that I've made so far. And I think they'll keep doing so with their amazing music.